Hi everybody, it's Matt McCauley, Kirkland Historian. I am today at one of my least favorite parts of the Kirkland Cemetery, Baby Haven. This is the strip along the western edge in which only children are buried. Most of the Kirkland Cemetery contains graves that tell often colorful, usually positive and enjoyable stories of Kirkland's past and the characters that inhabited it. Sadly, this side, there, there is no happiness. There are, there are no happy stories here. But it's important that today I kind of show the proper way to do some cemetery marker restoration. There is the marker of a little girl who didn't even make it to four months, who died in 1970. Her sister is a friend and lives way out of the state on the East Coast, and she asked me to do some restoration on little Amber's grave. So that's what we're gonna do today. And I'm gonna kind of talk about some of the do's and don'ts of grave marker restoration. First and foremost, you need to do what I did. You gotta make sure you have permission from the family. If it is an older marker that you, you, the family doesn't exist, you, you need to talk to that cemetery about its policies. By all means, don't just go in and start doing something to somebody's marker because you assume they didn't have any descendants or you think that it's okay. You gotta check, you gotta ask. I've actually had situations where the marker was, you know, full of all kinds of algae and, and bird feces and everything else. And I was fairly confident that the family would, would want me to clean it. And I've had them say, ah, no, just leave it alone. It's fine. Thanks. It's fine the way it is. So I'm glad I never did anything without talking to the descendants first. But that's first and foremost. So I'm doing this at the behest of the family. Just want to get that clear up front. So we're going to go over there and kind of take a look at what's going on. You've got a standard bronze plate mounted into a concrete base. Uh, the bronze plate is, is quite uh, aged. There was once white painted on the concrete base. The sod has come and, and kind of overgrown. So we're gonna have to get rid of that first. All I've done is just using standard yard work tools excavated around the edges in order to expose the concrete foundation to give myself some room to work. I have given it a good wash, scrubbed it off with a brush there to free all the loose dirt, and now I'm going to let it have some time to thoroughly dry. Compared to stone markers like granite and marble, the bronze cemetery marker presents a particular challenge. They are very easy to damage and you have to be extremely careful. Under no circumstances should you use any kind of power tools anywhere near them. Do not use any wire brushes or anything along those lines. The whole idea is to be as gentle as possible. There are a lot of really bad ideas on the internet as far as how to clean these things. There are various acids recommended and, and all kinds of stuff that was going to harm these things. So my recommendation after having done a lot of research and having spoken to a lot of individuals who professionally restore these things, I've, I've found a product that I like to use that is the safest. Uh, here it is. It's uh, Restore Marker Care System. It's, it's pretty easy to use. You can get about three of these sized markers uh, out, of, out of one kit. It costs about $25. But it's really the easiest and safest way to go, at least for me. But again, be very skeptical of what you see online because what you don't want to do is learn after damaging one of these markers that the method you chose to try didn't work out too well. The kit is real easy to apply. You just follow the directions and as you can see, it really brings the marker back to life. Doesn't take too long. It's almost magical how well it works. Just use plenty of elbow grease. Take your time. It's also a good idea to have knee pads. Gonna dry it off, and let it sit. Now I'm going back for the final application. 
of the sealer. And there you have it. It's that simple. Now I'm just going to go ahead and put white paint back on the concrete. You can't just use any old white paint. Obviously, you have to use, you know, uh, the concrete is quite uh, porous. It's going to suck it up and you got to make sure you use an outdoor grade. This isn't something I would have normally done, but the original grave foundation was painted white and I checked with the family and they asked me to put it back as it had been. So that's what I did. That's going to sort of get a little bit duller in a short period of time. If you have a loved one in the Kirkland Cemetery and you need any help at all maintaining their grave, just let me know. This is something I just do as a community thing. There's no charge or anything like that. And if I can answer any questions, please don't hesitate to contact me. Thank you very much for watching, and it was my pleasure to show you how I do this.